Welcome to TacosTheGeek.com. Justin here back with more television reviews. Today we're reviewing My Adventures with Superman, Episode 6. This episode is titled My Adventures with Mad Science. As always, I give you a brief synopsis, so here we go. When Jimmy gets kidnapped, it's up to Lois and Clark to save him. But rescuing Jimmy will lead them into danger as they deal with mad scientists, military secrets, and relationship woes. This, honestly, I will be honest with you, everybody. This one, I wasn't feeling as much. It's still a good episode. It's still worthy to be the high praise that I've been doing for the past five episodes. But I will say this one was probably the weaker of the four. Excuse me, the weaker out of the five that we saw before. Number six didn't really do too much for me. But it does do more in terms of lore, expanding the DC universe. If you see this great, great giant gorilla we get introduced to a major Flash villain. I'm, I mean, leave it in the comment section below if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure Gorilla, this is Gorilla G Grodd right here. <laughs> so Jimmy actually gets kidnapped. But for the sake of story, we'll just call him the Gorilla. Uh, we'll just call him the Gorilla because I, I didn't hear them say Grodd. So for purposes, we're going to say Jimmy gets kidnapped by this talking gorilla that values intelligence and science. I mean, if that's not Gorilla Broad, I'm not sure who, who it is. Anyway, so anyway, so the gorilla kidnaps Jimmy and brings him to the facility and you find out that the gorilla is a animal of science and that they're actually hiding from Task Force X and that the brain that this gorilla is with it's his lover it, it, it gets a little crazy people it gets a little bit crazy okay that's actually the weaker part of the damn episode the real strength of this episode is the relationship woes between lois and clark the back and forth lois giving clark the cold shoulder because he kept the secret of being superman and clark just trying to reason with her and trying to explain why he did what he did and that to me was like the highlight of the episode everybody's emotion comes out even jimmy's emotions come out the build-up that we've been doing since episode four of jimmy being the third wheel finally came to a head here and it had a really good payoff as well i thought that was really what made the episode enjoyable for me i would say the weakest part of the episode really was the grod the sciences stuff there was some action in here as Clark and Lois were trying to save uh, Jimmy. Clark didn't even realize that he was bulletproof. And then he just did it because Lois would have died if he didn't step in front of her. So there's some really good moments in here as Superman, once again, is still coming to terms with who he is. I love this coming of age story of Superman. It's something I'm really enjoying. The dramatic elements between him and Lois are the strong points of this episode. I, I just feel like Grodd's inclusion or this gorilla's inclusion just felt out of place. But it made a purpose once you see the last scene of the episode with Task Force X coming to the facility. So it does, they are building up to something. And they're building up to something big. But the inclusion of Grodd, I guess this was just for him to show, okay, he started on Earth and now he's going to... A new place maybe theorized maybe it could be gorilla city so maybe when we see him next time he's not going to be this nice loving in relationship grod with this machine brain so <laughs> i know it got it got a little weird people it got a little bit weird so <laughs> like this gorilla is dating this machine i was like what the hell is going on with this like okay who jumped the shark with this one but otherwise it is still a solid episode i did have fun with it the the characterization is what really works for this uh just the, for the series in general but the characterization is what really moves this episode forward for something that is going to seem to be a really big payoff. So I'm curious to see, maybe we're going to get a hint of Flash. Maybe we'll see glimpses of Justice League villains and Justice League people coming in. Because, I mean, this is this is Grodd. I'm pretty sure this is Gorilla Grodd here. So, Justin from AttackersOfGeeks.com. I'm going to give this a solid B+. This was fun. I Not my favorite, I would say, is the weakest of the six episodes that we, you know, of the six episodes we have so far. Um, it's not as strong as the previous episodes, but once in a blue moon, you need that episode, I guess, to slow the pace down, do focus on a little bit of characterization and then go back to the building up part process. So not the best episode, but it's doable. It was still enjoyable. This is Justin from Otakusageeks.com. 
comment below let me know what were your thoughts on my adventures of superman episode six uh, i still think this is on a winning streak folks so it's still six and oh for me just i just didn't enjoy it as much so later days i'll catch you on the next one like share subscribe hit that notification bell if you're watching this on tacos and geeks.com browse our website thank you for all your support i'll catch you on the next one peace